This video offers some basic instructions on how to watch internet video on your HD TV set. All you'll need is a fast internet connection like Suddenlink high speed internet and the right cables. Follow this tutorial and soon you'll be ready to use your computer to play your favorite shows or movies right on your television. Locate your computer's video and audio output connections. Your computer should have at least one of these options available. HDMI. HDMI cables carry digital high-definition video as well as audio. It looks like this. DVI. This is a DVI connection. It carries digital video, but not audio. S-Video. The connector is round and most commonly found on older laptops. S-Video does not carry audio. VGA. This is your computer's VGA connector. It's very common and used mainly to connect your computer to a monitor. Again, this connection does not carry audio. Now, let's talk about sound. Unless you're using HDMI, you'll need an additional audio cable. All computers use a standard mini stereo to RCA audio cable, as shown here. Now, look at the back of your TV to see what ports are available. The cable you use will depend on what ports are available on both your computer and your television. If your computer and your television have HDMI connectors, you will only need an HDMI cable, since HDMI carries both audio and video in the same cable. If both devices have DVI connectors, you'll need a standard DVI cable and an audio cable. If you have DVI on your computer and HDMI on your television, or vice versa, you'll need a DVI to HDMI cable and an audio cable. If you have S-Video on both devices, you'll need an S-Video cable and an audio cable. Lastly, if VGA is all that's available, you'll hook up your computer to your television with a VGA cable and an audio cable. Now it's time to connect the devices to one another. First, make sure that both the computer and the television are turned off. Get your video cable and hook your computer's output to your television's input area. If using HDMI, this will be the only cable you'll need. If you're using DVI, S-Video, or VGA, you'll also need to attach an audio cable. Plug the smaller end into the headphones or speakers jack on your computer and the other red and white end into the audio in on your TV. Make sure the red and white labels match. When attaching the audio cable, make sure you're using the audio in jacks on your TV that correspond to the same input as the video. For example, if using DVI and your DVI input is labeled 2 on your TV, then use the audio inputs also labeled 2. Make a note of the port number on your TV where you have attached the cables. For example, if the input you're using is labeled 1, then remember that number. You'll need it next. Now that your cables are attached, turn on your computer and television. Wait until the computer fully boots up. Next, you'll need to change the TV's input to the same input where you have attached the cables. Press the Input or Source button on your remote control or TV. Select the source that corresponds to the input where the new cables are attached. This input will be the one you made a note of in the prior step. Most modern computers will most likely see there is a television attached and automatically configure itself. However, if yours doesn't, try these steps. On a laptop, you may have to set the computer to send video to the newly attached television. This is usually done by pressing a function key, usually F1, F4, or F8. The key should have a little TV monitor icon next to it. On a desktop, if your television is the only display attached to your computer, then you won't need to configure anything. 
If you see your computer's desktop on your television, then you're done. However, if you are using your television as a second display, you may need to set your computer to mirror or duplicate the main display onto the television. This is done by clicking on Start, Control Panel, Display, Change Display Settings. Then, in the Multiple Displays pull-down, choose Duplicate These Displays. Then, click Apply and Keep Changes. You should now see your computer's desktop on your TV. Congratulations! Now, on your computer, simply use your web browser to find the shows you want to see. In most cases, you'll also have the option of enlarging the video window to full screen for the best experience. Finally, after you're finished watching content from your computer, you can simply switch the TV's input back to your cable box for regular viewing. You may leave the computer cables attached for future use. On behalf of Suddenlink, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you need any more information, please visit us at www.suddenlinkfyi.com.